At the Church of St. Giragos, Aram Khachikian comes to pray in solitude. He's part of just a small community of Christians here in the southeastern Turkish city of Diyarbakir. Like most other Christians in Diyarbakir, Khachikian is an ethnic Armenian whose heritage was once kept shrouded in silence. I am Armenian, my son is Armenian, my grandchild is Armenian. In 1915, my grandfather became a Muslim. If he hadn't become a Muslim, he wouldn't have had a chance of surviving. Armenians are marking the 100th anniversary of what's widely called the first genocide of the 20th century. Starting in 1915, during World War I, as many as one and a half million Armenians were massacred or died during mass deportations from the Ottoman Empire. Those who survived, like Khachikian's grandfather, converted to Islam and assimilated, or were raised as Muslims by adoptive families. Their descendants, still living in Turkey, are known as hidden Armenians. Their history is concealed, sometimes within their own families. Khachikian learned of his Armenian roots as a boy. He has taught his own children how their ancestors survived the tragedy. My ancestors met good Muslims. Those good Muslims fed them and kept them like their own children, married them to their sons and daughters and Islamized them. And that's why our generation continues to live as Muslims. Today, the descendants of those converts mostly speak Turkish or Kurdish and practice Islam. Aram's children say their own sense of cultural identity is mixed. They don't attend church, but they study the Armenian language at home. I feel like both an Armenian and a Kurd. The reason is that I have both Armenians and Kurds living by my side. We learned about our Armenian roots from our parents and grandparents. We have Armenian origins, but in society we are forced to live like Kurdish Muslims. Some families kept their Armenian background hidden from their own children. Another resident of Diyarbakir, Armen Dermircian, says he learned of his heritage only in his 20s after his father's death. The discovery prompted him to change his Muslim name to an Armenian one. In 1915, my three uncles, my grandfather and my grandmother were killed. When my father was still five years old, a Kurdish family took him and hid him in the stable so that no one could see him. They raised him like their own son. He did their household chores. When he grew up, he was converted to Islam and became a Muslim. Then he married their daughter. My father knew that he was Armenian, but he didn't say anything to us. He was afraid that something would happen to us. He told us nothing. When I learned that I am Armenian, I felt confused. I had always thought of myself as a Kurd. I asked myself where that Armenian heritage had come from. I started looking for my relatives, and I found them. And I'm continuing to search. But searching through a family's history can provoke fears that the violence of the past could one day return. I have two daughters and two sons. My family does not want me to inquire further into my Armenian identity. They say that they are Kurds and want to continue living that way, without digging up the past, so that nothing bad will happen to them. In this country, people used the word Armenian to curse each other. In a situation like that, it's not reasonable to expect people to tell others about their Armenian origins. In fact, if it weren't that such a long time has passed, a hundred years, perhaps we would still be unable to speak. For decades, Turkey aggressively repressed discussion of the mass killings of 1915. As a result, talk of hidden Armenians and their family histories was also silenced. To this day, any mention of genocide is considered a criminal offence. The ethnic Armenian journalist Hrant Dink faced charges for making reference to genocide and was also one of the first prominent figures to speak openly about the conversions of Armenians. Yeah, 
իրենց կյանքը բրգեն, ուղագի իսլամացացեն այդ շամանակ, անոն կալ կան։ Եթե իմանայիս անոնց թիվը շատ է, եթե ենձ արձնես ոչ տե մեկ միլիոն, մի կանի միլիոն։ In 2007, Dink was assassinated by a young Turkish nationalist. His killing prompted mass protests. In what many saw as a turning point, Turks and Armenians joined together to chant, We are all Hrant Dink, we are all Armenians. The Turkish government has since made gestures towards reconciliation with Armenia and its own Armenian minority. Here, on an island in Lake Van, Armenian Christians in 2010 celebrated the first church service in nearly a hundred years. The church was restored and re-consecrated with funds from the Turkish government. And in Diyarbakir, bells ring again in the church of St. Giragos. Before the restoration of this church, when it was filled with grass and there was no ceiling, I would come and pray at the altar. I cried a lot here. I prayed for the church to rise to its feet again and for the children of Christ to be seen again in this town. We have restored both the church and our identity. Some of Turkey's hidden Armenians say the climate of secrecy has begun to thaw. Today's Turkey is not the old Turkey. It has changed. Over the past 10 years, people have been able to speak openly. In the past, no one could talk about it. There was fear among people. But the fear and mistrust endured by earlier generations are not easily erased. I don't tell my friends about my being Armenian because I'm ashamed. The reason is not because I'm afraid. I'm just ashamed. I can't say that. For many, Turkey's gestures towards reconciliation are not nearly enough. The border between Turkey and Armenia remains closed. The process of normalizing relations has stalled in the Turkish parliament. Armenians inside and outside Turkey continue to push Ankara to acknowledge the mass killings of 1915 as genocide. I don't feel like a part of any people. I want to live like a human being. Let the Turkish state and government admit the genocide on its 100th anniversary and do what they should. Let the border, the checkpoint be open so that I can travel easily. Serkan Saryatas is one of the many Armenians from Turkey and around the world who arrived in Yerevan, the Armenian capital, to mark the 100th anniversary of the mass killings. Sariatas and other Armenians from Turkey say that only a full reckoning with the past will allow them to move forward. Before all Armenians of Turkey are able to talk openly about their identity, let those who died during the genocide, the massacred people, rest in peace. Then, the hidden Armenians will return to their essence, the path of their ancestors, their identity. On both sides of the border, Armenians are hoping for a time when the pain of their history can be fully acknowledged and when they can live openly and at peace with their neighbours. Ki <laughs>